Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. We're continuing our Saturday afternoon with a classic science fiction thriller from 1958. Allison Hayes, William Hudson, and Yvette Vickers star here in Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. Hayes plays the title character, a woman who has a mysterious encounter with aliens and suddenly grows into a towering giant overnight. With her newfound power and strength, she goes on a rampage and seeks revenge against her cheating, abusive husband. Now, both the premise and the production of this film come across as hilarious at times, but the movie was never intended as a spoof or a comedy, and in the decades since its release, it's actually become a cult classic in the science fiction genre. The film was directed by Nathan Uran, credited here as Nathan Hertz, a serious filmmaker who began his career as an art director on many acclaimed Hollywood productions, including Harvey, Winchester 73, and Bright Victory. His work on The Razor's Edge earned him an Academy Award nomination, and he won the Oscar for Best Art Direction for the 1941 John Ford classic, How Green Was My Valley. In the early 50s, Euron turned his attention to directing instead, and by the end of the decade, he established himself as a successful director of science fiction and fantasy movies, including The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, Jack the Giant Killer, and our upcoming feature. From 1958, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. Attack of the 50-Foot Woman gave Yvette Vickers, who plays the conniving girlfriend Honey Parker, her first chance to play a major role in a movie, and she later credited the film's star, Alison Hayes, with showing her the ropes and helping to alleviate her anxieties on set. Vickers got her start in movies earlier in the decade entirely by accident. While she was visiting a friend in Los Angeles, she was spotted at a party by Billy Wilder, and he asked her to appear in a bit part in his 1950 classic, Sunset Boulevard. In that uncredited appearance, she played a giggly girl who monopolizes the telephone at a New Year's Eve party. A few years later, Vickers decided to pursue acting more deliberately, and James Cagney gave her her first credited role when he directed the 1957 film noir, Shortcut to Hell. With Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, she established a reputation for playing seductive flirts, and she continued to play similar roles throughout her career. Up next, Robert Stack, Dorothy Malone, and George Sanders star in a shipboard disaster movie from 1960.